they were out there again, the kids from down the block, Johnny and Margaret. I could hear their childish, high-pitched voices squealing. I peered through the curtains at them. Johnny was the older of the two, about ten or eleven. Margie, his younger sister, was no more than eight. The brightly colored balls had been playing catch with, bounced out of the little girl's hands, and leaped over the picket fence into my front yard. Catch it, Margie! Catch it! Oh! <gasps> it, it went into her garden! Oh, golly! I am an old woman. Kinder always seem to be frightened of old women. Margie and Johnny were especially frightened of me. They called me the old crab. I guess it's because I was always chasing them from in the front of my house. Uh, what do we do? We gotta get it. It's our new ball. Mommy will be angry with us if we lose it. The boy looked around, staring at the house. I stepped back from the curtain window so he wouldn't see me watching him. He tiptoed towards the gate and tipped the latch. It swung open, squeaking on its rusty hinges. Shh! So here we go. Maybe, maybe she's not home. Johnny waited a moment, studying the house for a sign of life. I stepped further back into the shadows. He started to tiptoe up the walk. You keep your eye out for her, Margie. Hurry, Johnny, hurry! Oh, they were so cute, I wanted to eat them up. Johnny crept towards the ball. I went to the front door, and as his tiny little pudgy fingers closed around the brightly colored sphere, flung it open. So! Johnny, it's her! I stepped out onto the porch, putting on my very angriest look. I could see his wide eyes filling with tears. My gruff voice even surprised me. What are you doing in my garden? M -m 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 my ball, I, 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 run, Johnny, run! I started down the steps slowly. For a moment, Johnny stood frozen in fear. Margie started to cry. She sobbed out another warning. <laughs> run, Johnny! Johnny took a fleeting look at his precious rubber ball and darted out of the yard. And don't you ever come in here again! Next time I'll... You old crab! Yeah, sourpuss! I had to turn away from them so they wouldn't see me smiling. They certainly had spirits, those two. I like kids with spirit. I bent and picked up their ball. They stopped running and watched. Hey! You give us back our ball or we'll tell our daddy! Here? Come on, get it! Johnny's face turned white. Margie hid behind him. They contemplated mine offer. Uh-uh, uh, -uh. You, you throw it to us. Yeah, throw it! All right, if you don't want it. I turned towards the porch, carrying the ball. I watched them out of the corner of mine eye. They were whispering together. She's taking it inside with her. Oh, Mommy told us not to play in front of her house. She'll say it served us right. I climbed the steps slowly, giving them time to make up their minds. Ain't you, ain't you gonna give us our ball back? Come and get it if you want it. Johnny shuffled across the street hesitantly. Margie stood silently, biting her fingernails. Both of you. Come on, Margie. No, no, I'm scared of her. Johnny begged Margie to come with him, but she refused. Finally, she fled down the street, crying. No, no, I'm scared. Margie, wait. Johnny started after her. He'd completely forgotten about the ball. <laughs> I tossed it at him and called. Here. Here's your old ball. Now stay out of my yard. In fact, stay away from the front of my house! Mm. Johnny caught the ball and scampered away after his sister. Margie, I got it! I got it! <laughs> oh, gee! <laughs> I watched them for a while and turned back to the house. <laughs> oh, little devils, I'll get them yet. That's the way it had been ever since I'd moved into that old house. I'd been after those two imps since the very first day. 
as I went back into the house and slammed the door, something caught my eye. On the wall, the calendar. October 30th. Hmm. Tomorrow the 31st. That means tomorrow night is... Little Margie and Johnny probably thought of it the exact same moment I did. Halloween? Yeah, tomorrow night. Start time to get even with that old crab. I spent the next day getting ready for Halloween. Every once in a while, I peered out of the window and watched the kids on the swing swinging those old silk stockings filled with flour. Halloween! Halloween! Woo! By evening, everything was ready. I was set for them, and they didn't disappoint me. When darkness fell, I spied little Johnny and the Margie stealing up to the front gate. You got the milk bottle filled with water? Uh-huh, but, but you're going to do it. I, I'm scared. I listened to the rusty grate squeak open as Johnny crept up the walk and placed the filled milk bottle on the doorstep, leaning against the door so that when I'd opened it, it would tip in and spill all over the foyer. Then he rang the bell. <laughs> Naturally, I didn't answer. I just peeked out, watching them whisper together. She probably knows it's just kids ringing the bell. We've got to get her to open the door. Ooh, what about tic-tac-toe? Everybody has a different name for that Halloween trick. Johnny and Margie told it tic-tac-toe. Johnny slipped back up to the front door and slipped a thumbtack into it. From the tack, he hung a length of thread with a knot tied on the end. <laughs> Shh, stop giggling! <laughs> I can't help it! Then, tied to the knot, the boy unrolled a spool of black thread till it th stretched back down from beyond the gate. All set? Yeah, duck down! Johnny pulled on the long thread from the knot. Then he let it go forward. The knot, hanging from the tack, wrapped against the door. Again and again he pulled the nut back and let it ram against the door. Anyone not familiar with this Halloween prank would go crazy listening to that incessant tapping. But I just waited. Finally, Johnny gave up. I could see them whispering together. M maybe, maybe she's not home? I guess you're right. I watched them start away down the block, disappointed. Now it was my chance. Help! Hey, what was that? Someone help me! It's, it's the old crab. Johnny, I'm scared. Maybe she's sick. Maybe she's dying. Help! Little Johnny started back toward my home. I called out once more. Help me, someone! Johnny, where are you going? Come on! Johnny skipped up the porch steps and removed the tilted milk bottle. Y you all right, ma'am? Help me, please! He tried the front door. It was unlocked. I saw their frightened faces peer in. Dark in there, Johnny. Ma'am, you okay? Uh... They stepped inside. The door slammed shut behind them. <gasps> huh? J Johnny, it's it's locked. Pull, Margie. Pull. The doorknob came off in the boy's hands. It broke. No, oh, now we'll never get out of here. The heat from Johnny's hand had its effect. It's, it's sticky. What? Johnny stared down at the broken knob. It's candy. Caramel candy. The two kinder looked around horrified. Then they saw in the fire glow. Look, candy cane chairs, chocolate tables. I opened the door a little further. The glow illuminated more of the room. Spun sugar lamps! Gingerbread walls! <laughs> and then I flung the door open all the way. They saw me as I really am. Ah! Avi! <laughs>
bitch! Welcome, John and Margaret! <laughs> Hansel! Gretel! <laughs> You see, John in German is Hans or Hansel. Margaret is Greta or Gretel. <laughs> no. Did Hansel and Gretel get away from me as they did in the original story, you ask? <laughs> Come now, remember this is an EC magazine. <laughs>